Hello, my name is Rochelle Rakoff, and I'm going to walk through the implementation process for Quantcast Choice, a free consent management solution built on the IAB Europe's consent framework. You can access the self-service setup portal for Quantcast Choice at quantcast.com slash choice. This video is meant to be a high-level overview of the three-step process. The first two steps help you customize the solution and consumer UI, and the third step generates the code to be placed within the header of your site. For more details, visit our Help Center at quantcast.com help. One final note before we begin, most of the major customizations you'll make to Quantcast Choice are done in the setup process. This includes a link to your company logo, the type of consent scope, and details to help you tailor the copy and colors of the tool. Note, you will not set up the vendor list during this customization. This is completed after you generate the code. So to begin, the initial setup is quite easy. You'll input your company name. You'll link to the corporate logo that will appear within the CMP pop-up. Select which users are asked for consent. For this demo, I'll leave the default for EU only. In terms of how frequently you ask for consent, that's up to you. Under GDPR, consent has to expire within 13 months, but otherwise the decision is yours. For this demo, I'm going to use the default value of 30 days. This is a conservative choice to ensure new vendors receive consent if not initially included in your vendor list. Next, select how you plan to use the consumer data you collect. These are descriptive and not meant to be difficult. For a full description of each category, you can visit the IAB Europe website and look at their CMP policy doc for more details. Remember, these are from the publisher's perspective as a website operator. For example, information storage and access refers to anything you want to place on a consumer device such as advertising identifiers like cookies in most cases this is a threshold requirement for most publishers next if a user does not provide consent enter the url the user should be redirected to i'm going to leave this blank but you could redirect users to the website's privacy policy page for example the next step is the one we get the most questions on, and that is on consent scope. You have four options, global, service, global group, service group. This determines how the consent given by a user applies to other sites they visit. Global means the consent for vendors given by a user applies to any site using an IAB approved CMP. Service level consent means consent collected will not be transmitted beyond that site. Either global group or service group enables you to ask for consent across a group of domains. For example, a company like Hearst could collect consent across Hearst.com, sfcron.com, dmn.com with this group setting. In this example, you'll need to define a central domain as the consent scope group URL, such as www.hearst.com. This will collect and store consent on a central domain to avoid having to ask consumers for consent multiple times. Choose the option that best fits the need of your business and how you want to collect consent. In this demo, I'm going to use the global setting. In the next video, we'll show you how to customize the UI that users see.